Now, if you're traveling this week, whether it's by plane, train, or bus, you might notice a change. That change in the form of security. And despite no known threat, officials say here at home, we are ready. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lance joins us with more in-depth coverage tonight. Congressman David Cicilline and Senator Sheldon Whitehouse spoke to us earlier today about counterterrorism and its impact on Rhode Island. From the skies to the roads, 46 million people will travel this Thanksgiving week across the U.S., including here in Rhode Island. We have a set of systems in place to make sure that people this are safe. amid a heightened security worldwide travel alert issued Monday evening by the U.S. Department of State. And the Paris attacks, I think, brought it home for a lot David of people. David speaks to Eyewitness News about Rhode Island's impact. We have a terrific law enforcement community here in Rhode Island and all across this country that are involved in counterterrorism work every day and keeping communities safe. That work is ongoing. If you're traveling through Rhode Island, you could see heightened security at bus stations, Amtrak, and TF Green Airport. Ray Barada flew in from Jacksonville, Florida. In the airports, I started seeing more of the security folks with the automatic weapons, a little bit more uh, tuned up, if you would th if you, if you Although say Although the Department that. of Homeland Security believes there are no credible threats anywhere in the country, U.S. Senator Sheldon Whitehouse offers Rhode Islanders this advice. should always be sensible and watchful about this, but... We really shouldn't allow ourselves to be turned into a country where we all go into a state of terror and panic. We have to be vigilant in this effort to defeat terrorism, obviously, but to uh, keep communities safe. An exercise in vigilance was also the same advice given by the U.S. Department of State. For more, just head to our website at WPRI.com. Reporting in the newsroom, Shante Lands, Eyewitness News.